getting your finances in order is kind of like losing weight. There's both what you bring in and what you put out. You know, in losing weight, it's how many calories you take in and how many calories you burn. And that's going to determine, you know, if you lose weight or not. With uh, finances, you know, it's how much money you bring in and how much you spend. But today, what I'm going to talk about and what I'm generally going to talk about is what you spend. I've uh, never had problems with making money in my life. It's always been outspending what I make. That's kind of put me in some bad financial situations. Now, the one key, the one thing that's gotten me to be much better when it comes to spending money is being more intentional. And within that, actually thinking in terms of what I already have and finding ways of being happy with it. And there's two ways of being intentional. At least the way I look at it is there's intentional as far as, hey, I'm not going to buy this candy bar. And the reason why is because if I buy a candy bar every single time, that's going to add up to X amount of dollars per year. And that's money I can use to pay down debt or to put into savings. That's one way of being intentional. The other part of intentional is thinking in terms of what I already have. I already have things at home right now. I already have things that I could snack on. I don't need that candy bar because I have food already at home. I don't need to stop at McDonald's because I have food already at home. And when it comes to other things for me is when I feel when I'm feeling maybe a little bit depressed, part of my way in the past of getting out of that has always been let's just spend some money. Let's just <laughs> spend our way out of depression and uh the way I've overcome that is by saying, okay, what do I have at home? What electronic devices, what books, what other things that I know that I can enjoy that I can go home and actually like spend time with and make me happy without having to go out and spend money on something new. So I would say probably the thing that's helped me control my spending the most is just learning to be happy with what I already have, whether it's food, or electronic devices or just any source of entertainment clothes my vehicle you know anything that I already own as if I'm happy with everything I have then I don't have to spend money and if I don't have to spend money then I could pay down debt or I could put money into savings and keep myself in a better position financially anyways that's all I got today make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell check out the links in the description below it really helps out the channel when you check out those links if there's anything that you're struggling in life with, just put it down in the comments below. I'll see if it's something that I've learned to overcome, then I'll make a video on it. Otherwise, I'll see if I can at least point you in the right direction as somebody else who's got a little bit more expertise on that. All right, everybody, have a great day. Peace out.